WebStorm 8 has added a ton of new AngularJS features. So let's go ahead and create our application script here. We'll create it. We'll say Angular module and name it WebStorm. So as long as we have Angular in our project, you can see that I have Angular right here under Bower Components already installed. As long as it's my project, I'll get autocomplete for things like ng app. And then inside of ng app, you see I have WebStorm as my app file. And then if I set up a controller, we'll just name this WebStorm, WebStorm controller, and we'll name this WebStorm control, that I can say ng controller and get autocomplete for WebStorm controller. Then when I say uh, var ws is this and do as ws, I can do things like add an array. So we'll say an array of people. Just imagine there's a lot of people on this, but we'll just do a first name, John, and last name, Lindquist. There's also an ng repeat where I can say ng repeat and say person in ws dot people. And then inside of my expression, I can get the person dot first name. Now this also allows us to navigate so I can command or control click to jump to this, to jump to the first name, same here, I can jump there, or just hit command or control B, which will jump me there as well. Another cool thing is if I set up something like show person and I pass in a person, then I log out the person, I can actually access that inside of ng click. So I can say w show person and get that as autocomplete and then pass in the person. And I can be able to see that these reference each other. And again, I can navigate to show person and even jump back to where it's defined by doing a show usages. WebStorm also supports custom directives. So if I add a directive here and I call it custom attribute, then if I return my directive definition object and I restrict it to attribute and jump back to my index, then I can add a div and get autocomplete on my custom attribute. I can also navigate to my custom attribute as well. If I duplicate this and add a custom element instead and restrict this to element, I can get autocomplete on a custom element as well. If I want to get proper expression autocompletion inside of my custom attribute, I will need to add the proper docs for my ng doc name and param for my custom attribute so that it knows it should use an expression inside of there. So now ws update person should be available there as well. And lastly, you can also invoke a renamer factory. And so if I want to rename my custom attribute to other attribute, and I hit refactor and I make sure search and comments is checked. When I hit that and say do refactor so that it replaces the comments, you can see that it refactored here. And because I selected refactor comments as well, refactored there and there. So it keeps everything in sync and up to date. If you have routing in your application and a template URL you want to look up, we can provide autocomplete. So if I type partials, and then state one, it can find that inside of my directory over here. Now, if I do the state like this and hit double control space, can find it for me. And once I hit enter, it'll auto complete the full path. I can also rename state one from here to something like state uh, 10. And once I do that, you can see it updates in both the template name and in this URL here. If I command or control click on this, I can jump straight to it. I can also go the other way by using the show usages shortcut and find wherever it's used inside the project. Lastly, if you want to quickly view the documentation, simply put your cursor over a directive, hit F1, and it'll give you quick documentation. If you want to view that on the website, simply click the up arrow. That'll launch your browser and show you the documentation online.